surprises me when that happens. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm just getting situated. Give me a second. We've got a guest today. We've got two guests. We've got Milo and we've got Deacon Steve with the Franciscan Peacemakers joining us today, my co-host. So we're gonna get, a, get situated here. All right, see now it doesn't pop up live here on my thing yet. All right, not sure what's going on. Everybody's getting used to me not getting this situated until a few minutes into the game, so hang in there. I'm just gonna wait until it pops up so I can see what's going on. All right, so well, let's get started, I guess, and hopefully I'll be able to see. I wanna, I wanna see when people comment so that, yesterday I couldn't see anybody's comments when we did this last night. I didn't see anyone's comments until after I was done, and then I went back to it. So anyways, I'm gonna hopefully we'll get this working, but. All right, so today's Comic Relief at Faith and Giggles with Wendy and Deacon Steve. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Really, our main reason for doing this is to kind of give everybody a update on what's happening here at Faith and Giggles so that they know, you know, what's happening in town here with the different businesses. Um, I've been telling people to make sure to go to the Downtown Hartford, Wisconsin Facebook page so that you can be sure to see all the latest updates on not just the restaurants, but businesses, churches, um, on Sunday, there's churches are doing, you know, broadcasting things live, are offering different options for communion and whatnot. So, um, and also make sure you listen to WTKM FM 104.9 for all of your local and national news and updates on all things coronavirus and other important issues, businesses and things like that. So it's important to kind of stay in the loop and it helps, I think, up here mentally, just to kind of stay connected to everybody. And I know we all want to eat, so, right? You like I, to eat. I love to eat. And we like to eat, that's important. So, all right, I just want to just quickly give us, give you our status, we're closed, the door is locked, you cannot come in today. The sign is off. Um, oh, I think I have comments starting here. Is this what this is? Yay! Hold on, sorry. I do this, everybody must hate this. Oh, this is not the right one. Why is this not working? I need a technical guru here for me. That's what I need. All right, so it's not working, but... Should I check on my phone? Yeah, see. Sorry, time out. <laughs> I wish we could pause. Oh, there we are. There we are, Steve, I got it. All right. All right, I just have oh, to... Oh, yes, I see me working on my phone. Do you see you? Okay. <laughs> okay, and I can see... Oh, there, Shelly just said hi. Hi, Shelly. She said hi, you can see you. Okay. <laughs> Jason, oh good, Jason's on. We don't know where Jason is, but okay, well good, here we are. So we're in business. All right, so we're closed, so I have to turn my volume down. Oh. <laughs> Once we get it going, we do really good. It's just the beginning part, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're closed for business on the outside. You can't come in and shop, but you can call you can message us, you can email us. Um, our number is 262-397-8689. You can call us during business hours. We're, we're gonna continue with our business hours being our normal business hours. So uh, Monday through Saturday, nine to six, and Sunday, 10 to three. Usually we're open till eight on Fridays, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it six. And that might even all change a little bit, but um, but that's how you can get a hold of us and you can message us anytime and as long as I can, I'll respond or Jason will respond. So, um, so you know, we're doing shipping at cost, so we'll ship anywhere. We're posting tons of stuff on Facebook so you can shop there and I'm gonna continue uh, posting things. I've asked people to let me know if you wanna see sp specific things, like if there's certain products you wanna see, I can specifically post those things. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing some like random stuff and, and keep you updated. Um, you can call in for a delivery. Now, if this is not your first rodeo and you've been following us, you know we've got a delivery bunny going on now. So the delivery bunny will come to your house for free or you can send the bunny to somebody else's house. He's been doing a lot of that kind of thing. A lot of birthdays and fun stuff like that. And that's free within about 10 minutes of Faith and Giggles or so. We've been kind of stretching that out a little bit. So that's another way you can uh, support us is, you know, look on Facebook and pick something out and call us up or message us and give us your um, credit card number and we'll get it to you. So that's been fun. 
And we are also offering curbside pickup or delivery. So if you just want to stop in and pick it up, you can't come in, but you can call us and let us know you're here and we'll run it out to you. We'll have, make sure to take care of the credit card payment and everything up front so that you do not have to come in the store and we'll just run it out to you. So you can just call us. Oh, I don't have the phone with me. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go get your phone? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let Deacon see you talk. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna run and go get it. My phone is ringing, I forgot to grab it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> well, good afternoon everybody and thanks for being with us. It's always an enjoyable moment with Wendy, not knowing uh, what is gonna happen. Um, her life is unpredictable and um, and that's how she brings joy to everybody. Uh, she invited me to come and talk about Franciscan Peacemakers. We are the street ministry located in Milwaukee that has been around 25 years this year, working with women who are uh, victims of sex trafficking and sexual exploitation. Uh, at Franciscan Peacemakers, we provide housing for three women where they can stay for two years while they are engaged in their healing process. And the main reason that I'm here today is to talk about our social enterprise. And this we created eight years ago to give the women employment while they're working on healing and rebuilding their lives. And just like everybody else, we have been um, greatly impacted uh, by the coronavirus. Um, I was scheduled to preach and give, make presentations uh, at several Catholic churches uh, for like a 12, 13 week period, uh, as well as uh, we, would, we would have been at uh, several events selling, like at uh, Washington County Park, their spring craft sale. But all that's gone, and I am out any place begging. I'm begging for donations for Franciscan Peacemakers. You can visit www.franciscanpeacemakers.com, make a donation online. But I'm also asking people if they can support us by going to our Gifts for the Journey website and make a purchase for themselves, uh, someone that they love and they want to send um, a gift their way. Um, but today we began our Community Cares uh, package. And for $65, people are ordering a dozen soaps that they, we are setting aside and we will deliver to area food pantries so people who are in need, who are picking up food, will also be um, be able to have access to soap. Thanks, Steve. Um, yeah, so, so sorry about that strange um, transition there, but Deacon Steve really doesn't need an introduction. I mean, I really, you really don't. You're just, you're your own aura. Um, but I want you to know that I, I, I think most people, a lot of our people know that I'm on the board of directors of the Franciscan Peacemakers. It's one of the pride and joy things that I do. I'm very um, blessed to be able to be involved with this group and the people involved with this group, all of them from top to bottom. And I just, my heart is breaking at the fact that um, besides there's so much going on, businesses are struggling, people are struggling, families are struggling, but um, I don't think one is worse than the other. I don't think you could say that, but but this is really heartbreaking because this is this is such a tough climb already to keep an organization like this with so many different, um, you haven't even discussed all of the different programs that you do, we'll get to that in a second, but to keep that going takes a lot and we strategize and we plan and, and then something like this happens and absolutely explodes it. And uh, it's really hard because there's people in the background that are suffering that doesn't, the exploitation doesn't stop the the pain doesn't stop the healing still needs to keep happening we can't just stop that stuff and that's why this is so important to me to make sure that everybody understands because one of the things we do is we we don't talk about just what's bad we talk about what we can do about what is bad you know that is one of our things is bringing hope right it's i mean that's a big part of franciscan peacemakers bringing hope to the women who have been exploited so um, we are really proud to sell the products here in the store. I have some of them, of course, I have my props. I was prepared with that at least. I didn't have the phone, but I did have the props. I have the dog. I just didn't have the phone on hand. Anyways, but here are some of the products we sell here at the store and all the money goes back to the Franciscan Peacemakers to support this mission because we feel that strongly how important it is. And there's lotions, there's gift, 
There's collection sets. There's um, bath bombs. Now think Easter baskets, people. There's soaps. There's miniature soaps. Uh, excuse me, lotions. There's the larger lotions. All different scents and lovely flavor. It's all natural, right? It's, That's right. Yep. It's all. Um, I can't think of the name. What's in it? The the essential oils, right? Correct. <laughs> So it's a very um, organic-y, sort of healthy product. There's candles as well. And like Deacon Steve said, there's um, an extra campaign push now because of the fact that all of these speaking engagements, and I'm involved in some of these speaking engagements as well. So um, all of these things have just been canceled, obviously, like everything else. So this makes such a big difference. If, if anybody is interested in learning more, I think Shelly is on, is posting in our links. Yep. Shelly is posting in the comment section links to the websites, probably donation tabs, or you can go to the website and there's a donate now Correct. tab. Um, how else can they, can they help? They can donate, they can purchase products here at Faith and Giggles or online. It doesn't matter to us because it's all going back to them either. Anyway, so right now the best thing is to purchase it online at the website and, and, what else? Is there anything else they can do to support? They can purchase the soaps. Well, or... you know, being able to purchase product keeps the women employed during the, these times. And we are, we are in the process of, we're waiting for our ingredients to begin making our own hand sanitizer. Yes. We're getting ready to roll out liquid soaps. Exciting. Um, and we have a few other projects that um, we're excited about, but the supply chain is so clogged up uh, suppliers that used to be able to turn around orders in two to three days uh, today are telling me three weeks. So it's going to delay some of our projects, but um, we're looking at what's happening in this very moment, but we also have to keep looking into the future. The problem of sex trafficking is not going away. I'm still getting the call from law enforcement agencies uh, throughout southeastern Wisconsin, getting calls from uh, social service agencies. Uh, people that are looking to help victims of sex trafficking. And the only way we could do that is with financial support. Uh, and again, I would encourage you to visit www.franciscanpeacemakers.com or support through purchases at giftsforthejourney.com. Can you tell us a few more or you know, specific things that have been affected by this whole coronavirus? Like besides the fact that the money's not coming in, but what's the so our, the the most difficult thing we um, last August opened up our hospitality center over on 34th and Lisbon, and 78 different women continually come through those doors Monday through Friday to sit and rest, to have something to eat. Uh, we've been blessed with parishes that have been providing us lunches, but right now we can't have them come in, and so we've been doing. Uh, lunches through the door, uh, employees are, the, the women, the residents of our Clark community are working there. They're the ones who have been doing most of that work, wearing gloves, wearing um, masks, protecting themselves, and protecting the women. And so one of the struggles is most of these women have these um, depleted immune systems. I did not use the right terminology. Um, compromise Otherwise. immune system <laughs> and so we want to protect them from us if we happen to be carrying that but also protect ourselves um, we're trying to figure out um, the best ways to go back to the streets I was out on the streets this morning made two runs through the north side and the south side of Milwaukee where street prostitution and sex trafficking is prevalent and encountered more than 30 women so it is still happening uh, we have to keep educating um, in some ways, um, trying to really make an impression on the men of society that uh, this is not good, this is not healthy. Yeah. Um, so have you, have you, what is, have you noticed a difference being out on the street, like you said, since this last, like even this last week, like have you noticed a, a bigger need even, a bigger need? I mean, are you guys, or is it just, what have you noticed any difference or is it pretty much just carrying on the same well, on things, the streets things appear to be carrying on okay. the same 
um, based on the numbers that I encountered this okay. morning. Yeah. Um, and, and I have to say, I was a little bit surprised. Yeah. Um, and there's now, because there's less traffic, yeah. uh, and I stopped and talked to two of the women, and you know, they're honest. They're, they're um, uh, prostituting to earn money to get their next heroin fixed, and they're hurting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, trying to convince them to get to a hospital, trying to convince them. And one told me this morning she tried to go to the hospital and they said they can't take care of her now mm -hmm. because they're dealing with all the other issues. It was affecting it in a big way. Yeah. Um, I The number I found just fascinating about the hospitality center when Mary Evangelista was at our anti-trafficking meeting was the number of women. So this opened in November, right? The in hospital. August. Okay, August, my, yeah. sorry. Um, the number of women that had come through, um, I think we had her just recently, last couple of months ago, Mary came in and talked, and and there was what, how many people had come through the doors already at that point, how many women? Five, was it over 500? Yeah, we, we at that point we had over 500 and some visits that was by 78 unique individuals. Okay, yeah. And, and that's the startling number because we worked that neighborhood on the streets for all these years, and my guess would have been around 20 different women and girls, but that we encountered 78, and this is in a one square mile area. Oh, man. And where we're located is one of the most highly prostituted neighborhoods, not just in the city of Milwaukee, but in the Midwest, and the same thing when it comes to sex trafficking. And, and so, trying to keep, continue to coax the women to um, take a chance on themselves and to come in from the streets. Um, and right now we have no room in our housing, but we do work with other organizations who could potentially help them. Okay, awesome. All right, so if you are interested, again, um, there's lots of information being posted in the comments here, so check that out. And if you can help, that would be awesome. And um, thanks, Steve, for coming. And we're not gonna end here though, so don't go away, don't go away. We got some, I have, I have, we're gonna try and bring it back to a lighter note. That's a pretty heavy topic, but it's important to talk about. But you know, Deacon Steve, I love Deacon Steve because he's, he's, you know, kind of an enigma as, <laughs> yet there's another side of him. This comes in the forms of maybe three o'clock in the morning text sometimes. So I just thought it would be kind of fun to share some of the funny, the humor side, because that's what we're all about, right? We're about the faith, we're about the humor. So I thought it'd be fun to share a few things that I get from Deacon Steve in the wee hours of the morning sent to me. Here's a good one. So you've seen these, some of these are going around Facebook. This is the one with the dog, with all the people with the cones on their heads. And then the vet is, or the dog is saying, it's for your own good. You have to stop touching your face, right? I love that one. <laughs> I got some real good ones here. This is, we are not frightened enough to eat tofu yet, right? <laughs> so you go to this grocery store and you're gonna find tofu. So start liking tofu and you're gonna be okay. Now, oops, let me do this one first. Well, this is mine. Did you send me this one? I did. Okay. <laughs> I like this one too. This is this is a good one. Hey Debbie, it's me, the Lord. Listen, you need to stop telling Facebook that your health is in my hands. You're going to have to wash your hands and quarantine with everybody else, okay? So that's I love that one. <laughs> All right, this one I sent to him. So this is probably the naughtiest one, because you know, I'm probably so this is this is the one that says, How dare you? cancel bingo except for there's a little expletive in there that is probably not so appropriate but i anyways so <laughs> just thought i'd put some of that in there all right so where is the easter bunny you ask he's out delivering today he was supposed to be here in this seat but he has not oh no i thought maybe that was him coming around the corner but he has not come today yet he's supposed to maybe call or show up i really don't know he's been getting so many calls for deliveries so we're kind of going in different directions, so I'm just winging this, and I have no idea if he's going to happen to come or not. But in the meantime, I wanted to. Um, oh, you've got. <laughs> I wanted to just um, talk about a little bit about why we are still doing these deliveries, and I'm just briefly. I know I mentioned this yesterday. It was important to me to make sure. Oh my God. That we're what? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you can't. No, you can't. You can't come in, you gotta call. We need to social distance. We need social distance. It's the Easter, it's the happy hobby bunny, everybody. Woo. Okay, you have to call. <laughs> Not 
planned, everybody. Not planned. <laughs> Can you see? I just... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me put you in. Hello? Hello there. Wow, it's, it's the Happy Hobby Bunny, everybody. The delivery bunny is in the house while he's outside. How's it going, Happy Bunny? How's it going, Happy... Happy Hoppy Bunny. It's going good. You're keeping busy. It's getting warm out here. What did you say? It's getting warm? It's getting warm out here. <laughs> so how's it going out there in Delivery World? Are you having fun with all the kids? And, and what's going on? Tell us a little bit about it. Oh, yeah. The kids love it. The kids absolutely love it. They're the biggest thing. They can't believe the pizza bunny actually drives the car. <laughs> so lots of smiles, lots of pictures, lots of videos. Oh yeah, we're loving the videos. Um, anybody who has any desire to have the happy, happy, happy bunny delivered to your house for your kids, maybe a birthday, um, it's free. But and you don't have to post a video. But let me tell you, we would love for you to either send us the video or post it so we can share it because this is bringing me a lot of joy, <laughs> especially when he does his famous hop on the way on the way out so make sure you catch him as he's running away from your house because that's one of the most yeah did you see <laughs> so happy bunny i just i'm curious like are there any sort of um s struggles or barriers you're dealing with like you've got a lot going on here are you are you being safe are you being safe yes i am i'm being very careful i think the, the biggest problem i have is uh Occupational hazards of a delivery bunny? Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> so, would you have suggestions for people when you come to their house as to what to do with their young children while you're pulling in and pulling out of the driveway? <laughs> yeah, a lot of times it's easier, you know, if, if they're outside or I can come to the front door. I just don't come into the house, but it's, it's, it's been working out really well. Everybody's been very happy. And So would you make would you say just to be sure that you don't have the kids playing behind the Easter Bunny's delivery vehicle? Oh yeah, I keep them away from the Easter Bunny's delivery vehicle. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I know you're busy, so we'll let you go. Thanks for joining us. Bye. See you later. Bye, <laughs> Deacon. <laughs> All right. How much fun is that? <laughs> All right. Well. I guess that just about concludes our um, segment, but I just wanted to mention a couple things. I guess what we were talking about before is is why we why we're able to continue doing this. I did want to make sure that we did not break any rules by doing continuing with our delivery, so it was important. And I did find in the governor's orders that um, that mail, post, shipping, logistics, delivery, and pickup services were still essential. Po so, and this is the quote from the order. It says, post offices and other businesses that provide shipping and delivery services. So that would include us, we feel. We're, we're not letting anybody in shopping. We're respecting the um, social distancing rule. Um, the bunny is respecting that. And, you know, he's really well covered up. So he doesn't, he can't cough or sneeze on anybody or anything like that. So <laughs> we're being really careful. Um, just want to remind everybody that our gift cards are 10% off. We'll, sh we'll just send those to you. If you're interested, give us a call, 262-397-8689. We'll, you know, whatever gift card, we've been doing lots of that, 10% off. We can add the 10% on, or we can take it off of your bill. Does that make sense? So we can do it either way. So if you spend 50 bucks, you know, we can, if you still want to spend 50 bucks, we'll make it, $55 your gift card or you know vice versa we can take the five bucks off just let us know and we'll just send that to you no charge uh, I think that's about all I I don't know I just I'm kind of putting you on the spot here Steve I feel like I should have asked you this first but um like I said our whole thing if you watched last night's segment we had a little visit by um, Mr. Rogers who was giving us a message of hope 
of being calm and in control and putting on a um, sense of uh, a, to, to a sense of control so that we don't have fear in our faces and our actions in our body language in regards to kids and how we deal with kids we don't want to bring on extra trauma to those to those little ones so um, we were talking last night about mr. Rogers and how he would handle things and I I put Deacon Steve really because you know I put I put mr. Rogers right up there like WWJD and then I did WWMD what would mom do WWMRD is right next to mom but Deacon Steve is kind of almost right next to that so um, Deacon Steve what can you tell us that would give us a little just a sense of hope and and um, for, for in the midst of everything going on here what, what can you give just what kind of message can you give us that's gonna be you know it's gonna be okay type feeling I'm putting you on the spot and I apologize for that but um, I just think it's important well, I think a lesson that we're, we're all learning together, um, whether we're choosing to learn it and take and, uh, and absorb it into our lives, is we're being forced to slow down and having to be more in touch with one another, um, become better listeners, um, practicing patience, and at the the thing that people contact me uh, by text message and email a lot and call is they want to know where God is and why isn't God fixing this? And the mature understanding of God is God is not a magician, but God is presence. God is the source of our strength, uh, the source of grace to take us through this that we can love compassionately uh, that we can learn to walk away in stressful moments, uh, but to come back. Um, God is not deserting us through this um, in, in the most troubling times. And this is a lesson I've learned from the women over the years. Time after time, the women will tell me they've always felt the presence of God. Not necessarily in the way that would take them out of the situation, but having to learn that God is giving them the strength and the grace to move forward. So we can choose to stay stuck, to stay angry, to stay frustrated, and we have a lot, lot of legitimate reasons to do that. But we can choose to take it a breath at a time, 10 minutes at a time, a day at a time, and see where life is taking us tomorrow. Nice, thank you, appreciate it. Thanks everybody, there'll be more. And don't think I haven't forgotten about Jason. He is going to be in this chair soon. He can't avoid me forever. Thanks everybody and have a good day. Bye-bye.